right before we jump into this video, if you haven't signed up for the Fronos Photo email list, you can do so. Just look for this orange box over on the website, put your name, email address in it, hit send it, and I will send you a free guide to capturing motion in low light situations. Jared Poland, FronosPhoto.com, here at Allen's Camera to unbox and sniff test the Nikon 200 to 500 millimeter f 5.6. VR lens. So what I want to do is tell you who's this for, what I think about it, because I have gone ahead and given it some test shots, and you can check out all of those files over on the website, as well as download some of the raw files to determine if this lens is for you. So first off, is this not the biggest box you've ever seen on a lens that has come in? Yes, I know that there's 300 2.8s and 600 f4 boxes that are huge, but I've never seen a box that looks like, th it's almost as large as the Stanley Cup. It's like, yeah, victory, the Stanley Cup is mine. But I don't think the Stanley Cup's in here. So let's take it out of the box, see what we have, and tell you what I think. This is where you would find your lens hood. Here you have your instructions. Don't ever take them apart because you'll never get them back together. And this is the new warranty card. They no longer give you those other things. It says five years right on that. We've got some recyclable cardboard. Let's see if that smells any different. It smells better than regular cardboard, recyclable cardboard. But this is really what you care about. Let's get this out of the box. Move this over. Here we have it. This is what we've been waiting for. The Nikon 200 to 500 5.6 ED VR lens. Now this was a surprise announcement that Nikon had nobody knew that something like this was coming in a super mega zoom. So what I think of this so far, well, it is heavy. It's about 4.6 pounds. It clocks in at $1,396.95, which is interesting knowing that Sigma has a contemporary 150 to 600 and a sport 150 to 600 price at 1000 and 2000 dollars this falls closer to the contemporary version now it's not as long at 200 to 500 where the other one goes out to 600 but this is a nice zoom range look boom let's turn it yeah that's right and there you go that let's do we have any creep going on here nope no creep going on so this is your 500 this is what it looks like at 200. You have the VR on on the side. I will tell you that the VR is fantastic. You can see the sample video showing you with VR off and then VR on. The stability that you get from this VR is fantastic. I've shot with the Sigma contemporary version. I think that the VR is much better in the Nikon. I prefer putting Nikon glass on my Nikon cameras. That's just me personally. But I did like the Sigma 150 to 600 that I used. One thing that I like about this is that it is a fixed 5.6 all the way through. So at 200, you're at 5.6. At 500, you're at 5.6. Throw this bad boy on a DX body and you're looking at a 300 to 750 millimeter 5.6 lens and that is fantastic. So who is this for? This is for somebody that's going out and about and is shooting nature. This isn't primarily an outdoor lens. You really don't want to use this indoors for indoor sports because you know that 5.6 isn't going to be good enough in my opinion. You shoot birds, you shoot nature, you shoot sports outdoors. This is going to be fantastic and if you think that you can't get bokeh with a 500 at 5.6 well look at that you can get bokeh at 500 millimeters with a 5.6 it blows out the background it's a sharp lens i love the stability of it the vr is absolutely fantastic and so far you know what if you want to shoot it for video even handheld all the way out at 500 millimeters with the vr you're going to be able to do that what does it smell like Oh yeah, you know what, it smells like a basketball, one of those rubber Wilson basketballs from back in the day. I absolutely like this so far. So let's break out this Sigma real quick. This is a Sigma 150 to 600, 6.3. Who's gonna win the wind tunnel test? Well, I gotta give the wind tunnel test to Sigma because it's a little shorter. But look at this, they are basically the same size. They are basically not the same weight. I'll tell you that the Nikon is slightly more, uh, slightly heavier than the Sigma. That's why it comes with a collar. They both come with a collar. You can take it off. But I am really pleased with the sample images that I've gotten out of this lens so far. So really, $1,396.95. This is a tremendous range. And you know in the past, I've not been a fan of super mega extravagant zooms because of the variable aperture option, because the variable aperture. This is a 5.6. It's sharp, it's fast, it's affordable if you're looking for a mega zoom. Now affordable is of course relative, but in comparison to the Sigma at 1000 or the Sigma at 2000, this falls closer to the contemporary 
and I have to say this is a this is this is great. From what I've seen so far with the quick samples that I've done, I absolutely like this lens a lot. It would be great for outdoor shooting, and I'm sure with the birding that you're gonna do, it's going to be pretty good. Maybe at some point I'll do a heads up between this and the Sigma Contemporary, but for now, that is it. If you want to check out all of the full res sample images, you can click over to the website right now and also download some raw files so you can pixel peep to see if the quality is up to par for you. So from Alan's camera, that's it. Jared Poland, Froknowsphoto.com. Hey. See ya.